In this video, we will look at adding and subtracting with fractions. This is easily done when we have a common denominator like 7 eighths and 3 eighths. You could think about this as having 1 pi with 7 eighths of it left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eighths. And having another pi sliced the exact same way, but this time with 3 eighths left. 1, 2, 3. If we were to put that together, how much pizza, how many slices would we have? Well, we would know clearly that each slice was an eighth of the pizza, or the pie, because they're all sliced the exact same way. And then we just have to count how many we have to see we've got a total of 10. Of course, we could reduce this to 5 fourths by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2. But what I notice, want to notice happened is if the denominators matched, we simply added the numerators. 7 slices plus 3 slices gave us 10 slices. We can do the exact same concept with subtraction in that if you've got 13 slices that are a sixth of the pie each and you take 9 of those slices away, 13 minus 9 will give you 4 slices left. Each slice is still a sixth of the pie. And then again, we could reduce by dividing by 2 to get 2 thirds. Adding and subtracting is quite nice when the denominators match. It might take a little more work, though, when the denominators do not match. When the denominators do not match, we are going to make them match by identifying the least common denominator of the numbers we have. Here we have 6 and 9, and while 9 is not divisible by 6, we do know that 18 is divisible by 6. And so what we're going to do is we are going to build up each denominator so that it has a denominator of 18. We can do that by multiplying top and bottom numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same thing. 6 times what is 18? 6 times 3 is 18. So we'll multiply that fraction by 3 to get 15 over 18. Plus, to get the other fraction, to have a denominator of 18, we need to multiply the 9 by something. Well, 9 times 2 is 18. So we'll multiply top and bottom, numerator and denominator, by 2 in this case. 4 times 2 is 8, and 9 times 2 is 18. I want to notice that we do not want to reduce here. If we reduced, we would lose our common denominator that we just worked so hard to get. Instead, since we have a common denominator, let's simply add the numerators together. We've got 15 slices, 8 more gives us 23 slices that are each cut to the same ratio of an 18th of the pizza. Keep the denominator and add the numerators. We would want to reduce if we could. In this problem, however, there's no reducing available. Subtraction works in a very similar way, where we would want to identify the least common denominator so that all the slices were the same size, and then we can subtract the numerators. The least common denominator between 3 and 6 is going to be 6. So we need to multiply 3 by something to build it up to be a 6. 3 times 2 is 6, and so we're multiplying top and bottom, numerator and denominator by 2 to get 4 sixths. Minus, notice this next fraction already has a denominator of 6. We don't need to change it, let's just keep it as 1 sixth. So we have 4 sixth, we take one of them away, there's now 3 of these slices of 6, left over. As usual, we will want to reduce with subtraction and addition at the very end. Numerator and denominator can divide by 3 to give us 1 half for our final solution. Adding and subtracting works the same way. Once we get a common denominator, we just work the numerators and keep the denominator.